All right. So, I'm sorry on this side. Mojo starting on this side. He's throwing a white buzz bait, and I'm gonna throw black buzz bait because every time we come out here, the buzz bait just kills them. So I'm starting over here. He's over there. Hopefully they'll hit top water. It got a little cold last night, but I think they should still bite the buzz bait, to be honest. What the water feels like. Oh, that's warm. Yeah. Definitely should be a buzz bait kind of day. There we go. That's one. Oh, that's a pretty chunky one. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Ah, he is so fired up. Jeez. That's one fired up bath. Holy. Jeez. Oh, look at my finger. He just ripped it all up. Dang. What do you think that is? This is about maybe a five. Oh my gosh. Jeez, this is just a fired up fish. Like, he hit it so hard. Whew, that's not a bad one at all. Wow. It's probably around like a four, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Jeez, on the bu black buzz bait. This thing just, it's just too good. I mean, every time we come out here, they're just all up on it. I mean, it's a good fish right there. Whew. Took a little bit to get him, which was a struggle, but I mean, here he is. That is a good fish. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. About to get a little, a little release. Oh. oh, yeah, he's ready to go. He is just fired. Oh, good God. Dang, that fish is hungry and mad. As soon as I put him back in the water, he's just fighting me to go. That is crazy. Just this black buzz bait, this Hummer right here. It just it just gets it done. Every single time we come out, these things just get smoked. That fish was mad. I mean, whew, he was fighting so hard. As soon as I put him back in the water, you know, you usually get like a nice little relation. No, he was, he was fighting me right there. Not happy. He was not having it. I think my buzz bait's about had it. This thing keeps getting smoked by big fish like that, it's gonna have it. Alright, it's popping back on one like I was doing. Just troll down a little bit. Oh my god, my fingers hurt. Thing ripped them all up. Oh. Hate to be a little fish today, and that fish was mad. He's real mad. Oh wow, my saucy swimmer's coming on. I can go through those things too. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, he broke me off. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> no, that was my only buzz bait. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm tying on a popper or a frog at the moment. Dang it. That was my only buzz bait. Oh, that's frustrating. I wonder if that was a big one. All right, I'm about to tie something up. All right, so I just tied on this um, Guggen Squad popper, the nightclub color, which I've thrown this thing before, and I, I really like throwing poppers, but it's not gonna be the same as the buzz bait. Like, oh, I missed it already. My only buzz bait, gone. I really wonder how big that fish was, because he was probably pretty good size to break off that buzz event. Oh, I'm upset about that buzz bait. Oh, there we go. Oh, he was little. Dang, I've never seen such a small fish at a popper. They're all over these top waters today, which like I we thought they would be. I love the action on this popper. It looks so good in the water. Like, it reminds me of, like, a mix between a regular popper and then, like, a hula popper. Because it gives off that, like, really big little circular look to it. It's just a good popper. I mean, it's not as fun as using it as the buzz bait. But, um, yeah. We're just going to stop talking about the buzz bait. It's making me so... All right, let's see over here. Came into a little cove. I had one hit on this, and it was a tiny fish. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but. Oh my god, that's a good one. Oh my, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a proper fish. Oh, whoa. He's all hooked up. Popper. Um, probably. Second fish? No, yeah. Second fish should be like third fish. Ugh, but he smoked the popper, which is crazy. I mean, he hammered it. All right. They are fired Oh, Like, I threw that, he, he came out of the water for that popper, which was, I was not expecting that. I almost hooked myself in the hand too. Wasn't expecting that either, but. Whew, that was crazy. Yeah, I never come, I never get up early to come fish, which is, it's bad, but like I sleep in to like nine or 10 every day. 
But um, every time Lojo comes out, we always get up really early and go fish. And we both throw top water and always is just so good. Throwing buzz baits, poppers, which, you know, my buzz bait got lost it's in some fish's mouth at the moment. Um, I'm very sad about that. But this popper seems to be doing just fine. So it still, it, it catches big fish too. I mean, that first one was a lot bigger than that one, but man, I'm not complaining. That was a good sized fish. What I'm actually about to do is I'm probably gonna slowly roll into this little cove that Lojo's going in or fish on this side over here. Maybe catch a fish that he didn't with the, I'm pretty sure he's doing a white buzz bait. We swapped it up a little bit. I was doing black, he was doing white. But um, yeah, mine broke, so now I'm on the popper game, so. All right, we're back throwing the popper. I came a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try to get like, oh yeah, way back there. Too bad I just got stuck. That's great. Jeez, come on. I don't even think I hit it. All right, so about 10 minutes later, I finally got the popper back. You know, took took a little bit. It was a struggle, for sure. French hog fish, little sticky hook from Mystery Tackle Box, and a little pegged green pumpkin trench hog. And, uh, I mean, he's not a big one, but I'll take him. Oh, it is getting windy, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw some chasing out there and I was throwing a lipless and only one came up for it, but he was like really small. No, this is on the trench hog. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's probably about like at most a three. 